Welcome back to Writing Light. I'll try not to go so long this time, but there's still quite a lot to say about suspense. So let's get going. Have you ever heard a reviewer or an editor say, what's at stake here? Or the stakes just aren't high enough. What are they really saying? What they're saying is that there's not enough of an emotional investment by the reader in your characters or in your story. So how do you build that investment? Well, one of the best ways is to create complications for your protagonist. Confront him and her with dangers, with events, with obstacles that they need to overcome. For example, the heroine starts to undress thinking she's alone and safe in her apartment. But at the same time, unbeknownst to her, the bad guys are climbing up the fire escape. The suspense comes from the hidden danger of the reader wondering whether she's going to hear them or see them in time to save herself. You can also create a complication that's totally unexpected. One of the best that I've ever seen was actually in the film, not the book, of Double Indemnity with Barbara Stanwyck and Fred McMurray. They've just dumped the husband's body on the train tracks and they're in the car about to flee before the police get there. Fred McMurray keys the engine, but the car won't start. We end up cutting back and forth between the car key from Barbara Stanwyck's horrified face to Fred McMurray's desperate face, back to the car keys, to a long shot of the car and back again, until the suspense is just so riveting that we can't possibly turn away. And even though they're the bad guys, you can't help but want them to succeed. Time is another great way to create complications, especially when it's working against the protagonist and for the villain. And I talk more about that in the full workshop that I do. But when you couple time with a deadline, you have an inherently suspenseful situation. Just think about the ticking bomb. We know it's there. The protagonist doesn't. We bite our nails. Will he find it in time? What if he doesn't? What will happen? Stay tuned. That's it for this time. I'll see you next time on Writing Light.